Being able to understand the language of the animals is one of the oldest desires of mankind. Within the EU-funded project Assisi, an interdisciplinary team of scientists has taken an important step further towards reaching this goal. They have established the first biohybrid society of fish, bees, robots and humans. Their intention? Our idea was if we place the right robots between two species that normally wouldn't interact with each other, we can create a new ecological connection so we could stabilize ecosystems. To establish this communication between fish, bees and humans, a translator was required. So the robotics engineers have built two novel prototypes of robots, one for each species. One part of the car is below the arena, which is kind of big because all microprocessors and everything is down the floor of the arena. And above we have a tiny devices which just uh, use uh, infrared sensors and temperatures. The solution that we had was to have uh, a wheeled mobile robot, so this, this guy here, uh, moving below the aquarium. And then we would couple uh, another part, another module, which is more like uh, a robotic fish. In parallel, evolutionary algorithms were designed that made the robots able to learn to communicate with the animals. As soon as these bee robots and fish robots were in the loop, for the first time ever, an autonomous communication bridge between two animal species was established. Two different species decided together, connected via the internet, on which of two options they chose collectively. This novel interspecies connection is expected to have a deep impact on biohybrid research in future. We have used for the first time non-human animals to uh, provide uh, the fitness for evolutionary algorithms. We can start exploiting information that we can get from animals or start influencing some animal behavior in a way that uh, is better perhaps for us and for them. It's some kind of dialogue that starts between the intelligence system and the animals, uh, which means that the, the, the interaction is softer. This is a new type of science, especially for biologists where we study animal behavior that we have helped to create in this project. The project opened the door to autonomous machines that create a new ecological connection between two species. In order to preserve and stabilize our Earth's ecosystems, the scientists have found a new approach and shown that it works. Which species and which robot will be next?